Hey guys, and welcome back. So today launched the World Update 7, which is the World Update for Australia. So I'm going to show you guys how to properly install this update, and then we'll take a look at some of the new stuff that have been added. In the meantime, I just wanted to thank you guys again for all the continued support. You guys are amazing. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out, and it continues to support me in making new content for you guys. So hang tight, and we're going to get into the update right now. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to check um, to see if our Windows is up to date. So I already opened up the Windows update panel here, and I'm going to check to see. And I do this uh, in this order just because uh, this gives you the best chance to kind of make sure everything is up to date prior to starting the sim. So you can see Windows has no updates. I'm currently good. I'm also running Windows 11 just in case it looks a little bit different for you guys. The next thing I want to check is my GeForce experience. So I'm going to also check to make sure that my drivers is up to date. Um, you guys may have an ATI graphics card, so you may use a different uh, version of this. Um, for anybody that's on an NVIDIA card, you'd probably be using the experience to, to take a look. So again, I have the latest driver, so I'm also good with this one. And the next thing you want to do is you want to open up your uh, Microsoft Store. And again, because I'm on Windows 11, mine may look a little bit different than yours. But on the left-hand panel here at the bottom, you'll see uh, this is my library. And this shows me anything that I have uh, installed, plus anything that has an update. So currently, it's showing that I have one update for Microsoft Flight Sim. So I paused it just to kind of give you guys a, a chance to catch up. So I'm going to click this to download, and let's see if it gives us any information or if it's just going to download straight through. Okay, so this one here is about 501.7 megabytes, so it's a little bit bigger than the last one, but uh, that's not a problem. So that's it, that's been done. So you can close out of this as well. And now the next thing you want to do is you want to open up the flight simulator. All right, so the first thing we notice here is we have a new splash screen on loading and we have the beautiful Sydney cityscape in the background. So we should be greeted with a content manager very shortly, which will tell us how much we have to download um, for all the new updates. So just give it a few seconds. Okay, and here we are. So the installation manager right now is showing that we have an update that's 1.88 gigabytes here on the bottom right. So before you want to click this update button, it's very, very important. Here where it says install packages path, make sure that this line here is pointing to your simulator folder or wherever you've installed the simulator. If this is not showing you the correct path, change it because if you go and update and it puts it somewhere else, the sim will not know where it's installed and your content will be missing. So if you want to change it, just click on the line. It'll open up a menu like this. And then here you're able to navigate to your folder. Mine is already in the right place. And then you're going to select it. So because mine is already in the right location, um, I'm going to click update. But just before we do that, we can just take a quick look here. So release notes. Um, so this is the world update, elevation data for Australia, aerial imagery for Australia, water masks across various locations and improved airport data on 100 airports. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the airports that they've worked on, additional of more than 500 missing airports in game, including 54 in Australia. Okay, good. So they've also included stuff that might not actually be in Australia. Um, optional world update content via the in-game marketplace, Australia. So these are all the cities that they've added. So Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Hobart, Adelaide, Perth, um, so you guys can take a quick look here. There's quite a few of them. I'm just going to scroll down slowly. Um, handcrafted airports, you'll see they've added an additional four. And then handcrafted points of interest, so there's quite a bit of them here. Wow, okay. Um, they added something into the bush trip, uh, and they added some landing challenges and some discovery flights. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the notes. 
So now I'm going to click update. And this will tell us uh, our progress. So normally when this is connected to the Microsoft servers, it's a little bit slower. Um, but this update is not too big, so it shouldn't be too bad. So I'm going to let it run in the background. And I'll see you guys when this is done. So the update has finished on the sim. And now it's just going to reload back into the menu. And once that's done, I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, here we are in the main screen once again. And the next step, which is equally as important as the last two, is that we want to make sure we go to our profile. And down here in the center, you're going to see Content Manager. You want to click on this. And you want to see here under Updates Available, if you put a check mark in there, um, this will show you that there's updates pending. And again, I know sometimes this will have like previous updates, uh, so here we see things in Japan, US, United Kingdom. So in a couple of the previous world updates, there are some stuff that needs to be downloaded as well. So all you're going to do is you're going to click on select all, and then you're just going to click on download, which is going to be another 498.56 megabytes. Um, again, everybody's may vary just because everybody has different content downloaded. Um, but in this one, I don't see any aircraft, um, which sometimes I do. This one just seems to be really the world update, so chances are most of ours will most likely be the same. So I'll let this download and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, now that these have been downloaded, we can go back. And the very last step here is that we're going to go into the marketplace. And in the marketplace here on the right hand side, you'll see the world update for Australia, which is free to get. So we're just going to click on the button that says get and download. And this is going to download all the good stuff for Australia. And if you look down, you'll see some of the images, which look really nice. There's the city. And this must be one of the handcrafted airports. Here's some of the POIs. Another one of the photogrammetry cities. Uh, there's the observatory, uh, some antennas. So th this will be the last step, more or less. Um, normally I do this one first, to be honest. I do this world update, and then I do the uh, the updates in the content manager. Um, but I don't think it really matters which one you do first. This one I just happen to go and click on the content manager first. Um, oh, this one adds the new stadiums as well. Really nice. So the update for this is 2.51 gigabytes. Uh, what you see up at the top right here it's just downloading in the background while we look at these screenshots and i think that's all of them oh there's some other ones down here so i'm excited for this one guys i mean there's a lot of cool stuff in here australia is beautiful um i don't know if they've added any new animals into it which would be pretty neat but um i am excited to see the coral reefs the water masking um of course sydney brisbane um, so I'm going to spend some time right after this is complete to kind of fly around those areas and just give you guys a little bit of a, a little tour of some of the new stuff that's been added. So once this is done, I'll show you guys how to validate that it's installed and then we'll go ahead and see some of those new updates. Okay, so this one here has stopped downloading, so that means it's complete. So again, now if we go back and we want to validate that it's actually installed. Um, the easiest way to do that is to go to your world map. And then we're just going to take a quick look over at Australia. And you can see that all the POIs are now showing in the correct places. Um, the new airports are there as well. So that's pretty much it. And you could, one more time, just double check your uh, content manager, but I don't think, yeah. So all the updates have been done already. So that's it, guys. We're good. The update has been installed. We have all the new stuff for Australia. 
So now I'm going to give you guys a little tour and just kind of fly around some of these locations and uh, let you guys see what it looks like. So this brings us to the end of this video. I hope it was informative and I hope your updates all went well um, and that this video helped you guys out even if it was a little bit. And uh, if you guys haven't already done so, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, again, I, I really do appreciate all the support that I usually get from you guys. Um, and uh, it just helps me make more content, uh, especially now that newer aircraft are going to be showing up. Uh, I will be taking a look at the new Fokker aircraft that uh, the Sim has. It's also in the marketplace as of right now. And uh, we'll leave it for one of the newer videos coming up soon. So... Again, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening or day or whatever it is where you guys are. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.